Hey everybody, it's Sam with Cape Fear Collectibles. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be opening a double, uh, a few Double Masters uh, VIP edition boxes. Um, I think the these are still sitting at around, a, I'd say 100 on average with shipping. Uh, you can find them a little cheaper at some places, I think. Um, but in general, they're still uh, around that price. Um, this is definitely a uh, high roller premium product it's definitely a bust uh banger bust kind of product where i usually don't i wouldn't recommend opening just like a sink buying and opening a single one because you can definitely whiff hard um if you're going to open them i'd do them in at least like at least like a case which was uh that came with four or more just just to kind of hedge your bets a little bit that you're not gonna not gonna whiff too bad i mean there's always that risk too um you could whiff on all of them and and be out a pretty substantial amount of money but there are some really high value cards in here they're really awesome to open up there's the artwork's really cool especially the uh, extended arts um so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and just uh crack all these open so you don't have to uh waste your time watching me fumble through that and then the, uh, in the next segment we'll uh we'll crack them open and uh, see what we get um, some real quick housekeeping too. Um, if you enjoy this video, just make sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Um, supporting the content we put out. Um, check out our draft school videos too. Uh, if you're into draft, uh, we made it to the uh, top mythic um, rankings uh, last season. I think we were, I don't know, ranked number somewhere around 800. Um, there was about two or three hours left, and then uh, we were at 742, I think. So probably lost a few ranks there but probably within the 800 range um anyway uh let's get to this all right we got all our packs laid out right here uh six of them total to go through i can't remember i think there's what 35 cards in each one of these packs um and then obviously you got the the double mythic or rare slot that uh is supposed to be the uh the double and um, double masters thing or whatever um so obviously you're probably trying to find the force of wills some mana crypts extended arts uh stuff like that i think the most expensive sword is the feast and famine one uh, and that also looks really cool but there's also a lot of good staples in here for uh commander uh modern stuff like that so there's yeah, even in the uh, the common and uncommon slots, you can get some good good playables. So that's always a plus. All right, we're gonna go through these slightly quickly because unless I see something of note, a braid that's definitely playable. Got an Urza's mine. Is it charm? That looks pretty cool. A good old flicker wisp. All right, getting into the rares. That's not a bad first one. Not extended art or anything, but Cyclonic Rift is definitely a a good pickup. Then we got a Vengevine. Foil Mythic, Toxic Deluge, first extended art, Foil Rare, the art on that is super cool, I really like that a lot, that's a nice pickup, ooh, there we got, Evison, Angel of Hope, Mythic, Extended Foil, that's awesome, that's definitely a nice pickup, the artwork on that's pretty cool, I like the foil, not a bad, not a bad pickup right there in the first pack. And then we got all the full art lands, blah, blah, blah. I remember when a full art foil land was something super amazing and rare, but not anymore. And then we got our two tokens. I'll put these off to the side over here. Well, that was a pretty nice first pack. Definitely got some some good hits there. If we can keep it going. 
All right, here we go. Inspector cast down version. Skin wing. Longify, that's uh, a good buck or two, I think. Fatal push foil. That's a nice looking foil. Demand commons. Good old thirst for knowledge. Another flicker wisp. Get into the rares now. Got a blood <coughs> blood spore threnex for the first rare. Ooh, a nice doubling season there. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Man, the art on that is super cool looking too. Ooh, there we go. Extended art cyclonic rift. Not bad, not bad. That's pretty awesome. Cool artwork. Oh, baby! There we there we go. That's what we were looking for. We've got it. Force of Will, extended art. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Well, that just made the video for sure. I don't think we can top that at all. Awesome. Very nice. Put that off to the side. I don't have any sleeves on me right at the moment, but I will be sleeving that as soon as this video is over. And go through the lands, get the forest, and then the mountain, and then the two tokens. Cool. That was a nice pickup. I can't remember what that's sitting at, but I might send that in to get graded if it's uh, after I check it out, make sure it's not dinged or anything. Alrighty. The dragon. Another empath. Skin wing, another skin wing. Bopter Foundry. I like the art on this. I don't know if we can get the foil. It looks really cool. Lightning Grease, that's not a bad pickup. That's like two or three bucks. Mm, got a Beacon of Unrest. That's not anything really exciting. Then we got a Blink Moth Nexus. Foil, man. Foil rare. And then we got a Phyrexian Metamorph. Very nice extended art. Oh, cool. I really love this extended art. It looks so nice. We got a Noble High Arc. If I can get a better view of the foil on that. There we go. Yeah, I really like the extended art foil uh, version. It looks really nice. All the lands, blah, blah, blah. We've got a forest and an island and our two tokens. We're doing pretty good so far. I'm pretty... Oh, you see there's a... Not every single one in the back is going to be a jackpot, but so far, so good. All right, here for these commons again. Another tower. Pretty cool looking underworld mysteries. Another Thopter Foundry. Embrace. There, into the rears. We got the Falcon Wrath Aristocrat for the first foil rear. And then a Terrestodon for the other foil rear. Got a nice, beautiful Blood Moon extended art. That looks really gorgeous. 
Ooh, and then Thought sees the bane of historic and arena. I really like the way this looks, but I hate this card. <laughs> and arena. I like playing it. I hate when it gets played against me, but yeah, that, that foil looks really cool. I like that a lot. Not a bad pickup. And all the wings that are like less than 50 cents a piece. I think the the um, the foil versions might be around almost a dollar, but not quite. Obviously when you print them like this, they generally aren't worth much if anything. Maybe in the long run, who knows? All right, two to go. Trying to get the angle when I'm going through on these cards. It'll probably look the best with the foil. Brainstorm. Like a wellspring. Remember that. I like these constructs. They always look really cool in foil. Hidden stockpile. Citadel. Alrighty. To the rares. We got a Phyrexian Revoker. And then a Well of Ideas. Second rear. Wow, another Extended Art Noble Hierarch. Awesome. I really do like that card a lot. That's really cool looking. Cool. Oh, dang, what a pack. We got a Chrome Mox Extended Art Foil Mythic. This thing is wild looking. Awesome pickup, awesome. Cool. Very nice, very nice. Not bad at all. This has been a pretty killer video so far. And our lands, and then we got Planes and Force, and your tokens. Actually, I haven't seen this clue. I haven't seen one of these. It's kind of cool looking. I can't... Seems like the foil printing is pretty reasonable. That one looked a little, a little murky. I, I haven't noticed too terrible of a print quality with these. Not as bad as the last Zendikar. They were just... Almost like there was a film over the foils on some of them. You could all, all barely see what was going on. All right, last pack. Let's see if this one's going to be, be a bang one, too. I really like I just don't remember the way they did that in the foil. looks nice. Chatter of the Squirrel. We got a new squirrel coming out in Kaldheim. I think there's going to be some Commander Squirrel shenanigans going on, even more so now. Another Construct. A real Smith. Path to Exile, that's like two bucks. That's pretty cool looking Banshee. Alright, into the rears. Maelstrom Pulse, Foil Rare. This is... Sees many a sideboard. Pretty cool. And a Mox Opal for the second second slot. Mythic. Uh, it's a regular art foil. And then we got a. Excuse me, that was a mythic. We have a Brainstorm Extended Art Rare. And oh man, there we go. Another one. Jace the Mind Sculptor, uh, Sculptor, excuse me. Extended Art Mythic. Not bad, not bad. Awesome. And again, we got all our lands. And our two foils. And our tokens. Wow, that was a pretty, pretty killer uh, opening. We got some good stuff there. Uh, so I think we had... Let me check the mythics. 
One, two, three. We got three extended art mythics, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extended art rares. Oh, excuse me. I forgot about these. Eight extended art rares, four extended art mythics, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven regular foil rares, and three foil mythics. So, not bad at all, not bad at all. Uh, I think we definitely did pretty good on this video, uh, value wise. Um, these are super fun to open, honestly, just because they're, there's, you know, it's such a huge lottery. You can really win big or lose a lot, so it's definitely a high stakes. Um, but the artwork, like I said, is really, really amazing um, on some of these uh, pieces. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, Check out some of our other uh, videos, uh, our Instagram. We're also on Twitch, uh, all under Cape Fear Collectibles, so just search that. And again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.